news just five more minutes please so i was in london at the weekend with my friend steph or ula lashes on youtube and you should definitely go and check her out and subscribe because she is awesome but anyway, we went over for iMats and we went on the Saturday, which by the way was completely amazing and I will talk more about it at the end. Um, but every other day that we were there, we went from Friday till Monday, we basically, all we did was shop. <laughs> and it's amazing how much money you can spend in three days and I am now completely broke. But thankfully it is payday tomorrow, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> So I will just hop right in and show you what I bought. So I guess I will start off with what I got at iMats as it was the reason that we went over to London. So I didn't actually get that much. Um, we kind of walked around a bit and had a look at all the stalls but there, I don't need any makeup. I want makeup but I don't need any and the stalls that I wanted to go to like NARS and NYX had like massive queues like you couldn't actually get into them to kind of see anything and I was just like no I really can't be bothered I can buy this at home or online and the discount yes it was pretty good for NARS I think it was 60% off but I actually the only thing I wanted from NARS was Laguna bronzer and they didn't even have that so um yeah I'm not too I'm not too bothered about that but I did I only bought from one stall and it was from uh, Delium Tools which looks like that. The B is silent apparently. So I got some brushes and I absolutely adore these brushes. They are just the perfect girly brushes and they look like this. Pink brushes. How amazing is that? And they are baby pink which I absolutely love and I'm kind of in love with these brushes. And I got what? Five brushes and that cost me £30. So I was pretty happy with that. I got, first of all, I got a blush brush, which is just kind of, you know, a big, a big powder brush. And I got a tapered blending brush because you can never have too many tapered blending brushes. I got a concealer brush as I just put my concealer on with my hands at the minute. So I thought I would try out a brush and see what that was like. Um, I got a, another blending brush, but it's uh, not a tapered one. It's just a kind of standard blending brush. And I got a fan brush because I don't own a fan brush and I thought I would try it out. It'd be pretty good for um, like putting on highlighters and things. So that is what I got at iMats. I didn't get too much, but I'm pretty happy with those because they're pink and that excites me to no end. <laughs> So while I was in London, I ran out of my foundation and my mascara and my concealer. <laughs> so I figured I would pick them up while I was there as I needed them. Uh, I didn't get these at iMats, I just got these in Boots. And I got the Revlon Colorstay foundation, which is my favorite foundation. And I am usually, um, I usually get the shade 110 Ivory, but I decided to go up a shade this time because I figured the Ivory one, it's the palest shade and it was just getting a bit too pale for me so I went for 150 buff and I'm wearing it at the minute and I think it's it's a pretty good match for me and I'm really liking it. Um, I love this foundation anyway but I'm actually liking this shade. Next I got my favourite concealer which is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in number one Fair and I'm sure you've heard a lot of people talk about this. I talk about it all the time. It's my favourite concealer and I love it. And next I picked up my mascara which is the L'Oreal Lash Architect 4D. Now I usually get the original one which is just uh, black but this one is black lacquer and I'm not sure how that is different to the original. It's got different packaging in that the bottom of it is black but I'm not sure what the difference between black and black lacquer is but I like it anyway. I love this mascara and this seems just as good as the original so I'm loving that. So one of the shops that we were super excited to visit was Victoria's Secret as I think London was the first place in the UK to have one open so we were like excited to go there because I mean we can't get it where we are and I know it's everywhere in America but we don't have it in the UK so it was like Grr. so I did a bit of damage in Victoria's Secret and I will just show you what I got. First off, um, well first off we had a look around just the normal like Victoria's Secret and everything was super expensive so we ended up going um, down to the bottom floor which had all the pink range on it which is a lot more affordable and that is where I got all of my uh, items. 
So the first thing I got was this hoodie, which is like a bright, bright blue. It's like my favorite color blue hoodie and it just says pink on it and it's actually a really baggy hoodie. This is in size extra small and it's like super kind of loose on me. It, it's not tight at all, but I love it. It's just comfy and casual for kind of hanging around the house. So I'm really in love with that and I love the color blue. So next I picked up a bandeau. Um, I think it's meant to be a bandeau bra, but I'll probably just wear it over another bra and just kind of as a regular bandeau. And I got this kind of tie dye, uh, blue and pink and purple one here which I am totally in love with and actually when I got to the checkout the girl told me that it was two for 24 pounds so I went back and got another one which is this kind of white and pink ombre bandeau which I really really love and these are in I think size small or extra small these are size small and they're super tight on me and I've got no boobs so um, they're very small so I'd recommend trying them on before you get them but they're super nice and I love the colors. There was loads of other colors as well, but these were my two favorite. Next, I got the bra that I'm wearing, which I am not going to show you what my bra looks like, but I will insert a picture here. And I absolutely love it because it is super bright neon colors. And I guess I'm just kind of drawn to neon colors, but I, I'm in love with this bra and it gives me a bit of a, bit of extra boobage <laughs> as it's a push-up bra so I really love that and then when we were at the airport actually flying back home there was a Victoria's Secret in the airport which was totally random but I was not complaining and I picked up just one little thing as the prices were discounted and I got the Pure Seduction Eau de Toilette as I have heard about this and it smells amazing it's just such a gorgeous fruity smell. It says on the box here that it is red plum and freesia and it's just so nice and I've been wearing it for the past couple of days and I spray it on at about what, eight in the morning and then even by like five in the evening, I can still smell it on myself. I can still smell it on myself now, which is really, really good. It's surprising for an eau de toilette as usually they kind of wear away pretty fast, but this one stays for a really long time and it's super, super nice. I love it. So that is everything that I picked up from Victoria's Secret and hopefully I can go back to London soon and buy more. So the next shop I went to was H&M and I just picked up one thing as we went kind of, we went around all the shops and there wasn't really anything nice in any of the shops like H&M, Forever 21, Topshop. There was nothing that really caught our eyes as, you know, wow, I want that. So, but I picked up one top anyway from H&M and I'm wearing it now and it is this just kind of, it's just like a, a burnt out kind of black top with a, uh, bones with a rib cage on it and I just thought it was really cute. There's actually a little zip just down the top of the back and it's kind of loose and it's low at the sides so you can you can wear a bandeau under it. You can see my colourful bra there. <laughs> but yeah I really like it. I think it's just super casual and kind of uh, interesting so I'm really happy with that. So that is everything that I picked up from London and IMAT and I'm super happy with everything. And I cannot wait to go to IMATS next year because it was so amazing this year. Um, I know I didn't get that much, but I kind of more went for, you know, for meeting people, for meeting other YouTubers. And I actually met the girl Inspired, Jenna, and that was really awesome to meet her because we've kind of been chatting online through YouTube and it's just really cool to actually like meet someone that you've been talking to. So that was really cool. I also met Fleur de Force and Miss Glamorazzi, which completely like, uh, kind of like starstruck fangirl moment <laughs> when we met them. Um, when we arrived, they were actually taking photos with like loads of people, but we had to go to the bank machine, Steph and I. So we actually missed them. Um, they kind of disappeared, so we were like, no. But uh, <laughs> we kind of just wandered around and had a look at the stalls, and we randomly were just sitting down with um, coffee, and they just kind of appeared in front of us. So we went up to them and had a chat with them and we got photos and I'll insert the photos here. So that was really cool and they were both super super nice and it's just they're probably the two of them are my two favorite YouTubers out of everyone and it's kind of cool that I actually got to meet them and yeah that was really awesome so they were really really nice and that kind of made my IMA so it was kind of the highlight of the day so it was a really really good day and that made it worth it so. 
So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and leave comments down below on whatever you want. And if you have any requests for videos you would like me to do in the future, please also leave them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. By no means am I perfect at anything as can be seen by this tag. And yeah, there's, there's bound to be a lot more things <laughs> that I suck at.